Transportation Security Administration is investigating a breach at one of the nation's busiest airports. Nearly a dozen people passed through a security checkpoint that was not fully supervised yesterday at New York's John F. Kennedy International Airport. The passengers were able to make it onto their planes without further screening. Chris Van Cleve shows us how it took hours for police to respond. Chris, good morning. Good morning. Sources tell CBS News TSA officers were in the process of opening a pre-check lane when the passengers walked through an unstaffed metal detector. The TSA believes two supervisors were aware of the breach within minutes, but it wasn't reported until after a third supervisor saw it on video at least an hour later. Police and the TSA at JFK were sent scrambling after 11 travelers were not properly screened Monday morning. At around 6, the passengers walked through an unsupervised metal detector at JetBlue's Terminal 5. Three of the 11 set off its alarm and continued to their gate without a secondary screening. Airport police say they weren't notified by TSA until two hours after the breach when officers began a search of the terminal. Security cameras captured images of at least two of the people who set off the alarm. All three were identified only after boarding a flight to San Francisco. They were rescreened after landing. The most vulnerable time for any kind of checkpoint is in a transition period. Aviation security expert Sheldon Jacobson says airport security is weakest early in the morning and during shift changes. I believe the TSA has to look at their procedures at those transition points. We need to follow the procedures to ensure the integrity of the air system and the security that is afforded to it. Monday's incident is the latest in a string of embarrassments for the TSA, including cripplingly long lines and failed security tests. President Trump has yet to appoint a new TSA administrator to replace former head Peter Neffinger, who stepped down last month. The agency has introduced hundreds of additional officers and new technology to handle the roughly 2 million passengers screened daily at about 450 airports nationwide. But security gaffes leave some passengers concerned. That's scary. It's dangerous. It's, it's, in today's times, that's really dangerous. The TSA says all 11 passengers' carry-on bags were properly screened and a canine team was working the checkpoint area at the time. The eight passengers who did not set off the metal detector have not been identified. The agency indicated it will discipline or retrain employees as needed. And in a statement to CBS this morning, the TSA says we are confident this incident presents no threat to the aviation transportation system. Gail?